Hello friends, welcome to this Java programming tutorial series. I am Dinesh Uriani, owner of Java blog by the name Learn Java by Examples. You can visit to this blog at the following link at www.habarspot.com. Do visit to this blog if you want to learn this great programming language. And today I will be continuing to teach you Java programming language. So let's get started. Hello friends, let's continue with our Java programming tutorial series. Today let, we will discuss about how to calculate simple interest through a Java program. So let's move on to Eclipse. So friends, let's begin our tutorial by creating a simple Java class. We'll go to the package, right click new class and we will give the we will give it a name as a simple interest demo and we will click finish so here our class gets created now in order to calculate simple interest we have to provide a main method so we will create a main method say public static void main this method takes in a string array this method begins the begins the execution of the Java application because this method is being called by JVM whenever the program is made to run so we have this method now so th what this program does basically it takes in three things from the user the principal rate and time so in order to read the inputs given by the user from the console we will first create a scanner object scanner object is a, is a class we will create a scanner object user input equals new scanner passing in a parameter is system dot so this class is being provided by java application programming interface so in order to use this class first we have to import a class so whenever you scroll over this class you will see the bug fixes and one of the bug fixes would be import scanner java dot we will click on this and we will see one statement over here that it is imported java dot util dot scanner now what does this import keyword does the import keyword simply tells the compiler that this user class is being that this class is being used by the java application so the import statement by seeing the import statement the compiler goes and locate the class and this scanner when we create a new object of scanner takes in the system dot in now system dot in object is an object which reads the data from the console so whatever the user enters in the console is being read by the system dot in and the scanner basically takes in that system dot in object and uh, reads from the console so in order to calculate the principal interest first we will create say few variables say double principal principal amount entered by the user so what double variable so what principal variable does it will store the principal amount entered by the user we will create another variable by name rate now this variable will store the rate entered by the user we will create one more variable say double time here time here time variable will hold the time entered by the user and one more variable will create say double result now what does result will do result variable do it will store the simple interest calculated so it will store the simple interest calculated so now let's move ahead in order to get these values from the user we have to use the scanner object which we created above here we have to use this reference variable to, to to first prompt the user to enter the principal rate and then time so first we'll prompt the user by system dot enter the principal amount so when this line executed it asks the user to enter the principal amount now principal equals user Put dot next double. Now what this line does? Whenever this line gets executed, user input dot next double, 
it will take the value entered by the user on the console so it will take the value entered by the user on the console so whenever user enters a value and then enter he this statement takes in that value and assign it to the principal variable same is done with the other variable say we prompt the user to enter the rate rate equals user input dot next whenever now it will prompt the user to enter the rate and whenever the user enters the any rate value and hit enter key this line takes in that value and assign it to rate variable so similarly we will do with the time as well enter the time it's double so now that this this line will take in the time entered by the user and assign it to the time variable so let's move ahead and calculate the simple interest because we already got the three values which is getting stored in the principal rate and time variable so formula for calculating simple interest is principal into rate into time divided by 100 so here the whatever the result comes out will be the simple interest for us so we will store that result into the result variable and we'll use the formula say principal into rate into time divided by 100 so we'll get the result which will be our simple interest and then we will display that result over the console say the simple simple interest is we output the result so so now let's run this program we'll do right click run as so as soon as this program started running it first prompted the user to enter the principal amount so let's enter the principal amount say thousand we'll, as soon as we hit enter it asks the user to enter the rate so we enter the rate as say 10% and as soon as we hit enter it asks the user to enter the time so suppose we say we enter time as 5 years and we as we hit enter so as soon as we hit the enter the simple interest which got calculated was 500 and it output it on the console which was stored in the result variable so friends this was a simple program which calculated the simple interest for us so we will just recap what we did we first created a class by the name simple interest demo then inside the class we created a method which was the main method now this method is the beginning point of beginning point of execution of every, each and every java application this method by its signature is being called by the JVM so inside this method when this inside is when we first created a scanner object scanner object this scanner object is a predefined class in the Java application programming API it has been provided by Java to scan the user inputs by taking in the system dot in object here so let's move ahead we then created three variables by the name principal rate time which which uh, signifies the principal as principal amount entered by the user rate as the rate entered by the user time as the time entered by the user and we also created one more double variable which was by the name result now this variable was created to store the result the simple interest calculated by our application so first now let's move ahead we first prompted the user to enter the principal amount so what the system did it prompted user to enter the principal amount so as soon as so when user enter the value of the principal and hit end and place the enter enter key this method user input on next level took that value and assign it assigned it to the principal variable and the same it did with the rate and time so so let's move ahead and see how the simple interest is being calculated 
simple interest is being calculated by the simple formula principal into rate into time divided by 100 so here we use the formula as principal into rate into time divided by 100 and whatever the this value got out to be calculated is being assigned to the result variable and at the last we did the we did print it out on the console and here you can see first it prompted user to enter the principal amount we entered 1000 then it prompted to enter rate we entered 10 percent then it prompted to enter the time and we entered 5 years and so the simple interest got to be calculated as 500 so friends if you like this video then please like us on facebook and youtube share this video on facebook with your friends and if you have any comments to share then share it below you can also subscribe my video on youtube and you can also visit my blog at www.hubberspot.com for more java tutorials and source code thank you very much have a nice day take care bye bye